see, we got out there. She goes. Hi, everyone. Um, hi, Anthony. Up, up? Thank you so much for this opportunity. My name is Candice, and I represent Queen Connect Publishing. I publish a few magazines, and there the editors are here today to ask you some questions as well. Um, thank like you again for this opportunity. <laughs> I'm You're nervous. Welcome, I'm you. sorry. You're here. <laughs> You're, here. Girl. You're good. This is all, We're this, all this family. Is, this is all love and humanity here. So yes. please, like, hearts open, minds open. We're here. Thank you for sharing your time. Everybody's time here is valuable and important. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, you know, the show really does explore cult life, you know, from a Black person's perspective, which is very new. Has that you know, to see that in depth. Going into this next season, has it taught you anything about that lifestyle, about how people can get wrapped up in that lifestyle? And by the way, my magazines are community magazines. So I saw a lot of important things in the community within this show. And I just would love to know your thoughts about that. Thank you. Um, yeah, one thing that the show does bring to light, and I hope other people receive it that way as well, is um, the power of awareness and the power of being grounded and unnecessary that is because, as you can see, like, you know, we all have parts in our life where we may feel lost, where we may like we have strayed off from from our purpose, from our journey, from our direction, or or something we haven't healed from that doesn't allow us to see as clearly as we want to see. And to, to notice how that can lead you to, for example, somebody manipulating your mind to uh, you looking for hope or, or saving in the wrong place and how dangerous that can be. Like, um, I can't emphasize this enough that giving yourself the time and the opportunity and the resources to start every day with the healthiest mindset is so important because the tiniest things can set you in the wrong direction. And then if that's continually happening, those things become habits. And then you start feeling a certain way, you start being susceptible to certain things. And it's all just from not having like a healthy, grounded mindset. You know, sometimes for me, I wake up in the morning and I make my matcha tea. You see, I'm drinking with my little Buddha cup over here. And I, I step outside into nature. I walk with my dog. I give myself some time to meditate and pray. And I set my mind up to go ahead and handle the day. Sometimes my phone will be on do not disturb. Melissa knows my phone will be on do not disturb. And I'll make sure everything's right in my mind so I can be the best me that I am. I got this platform. And like, man, my, my parents came from another country to bring me here to give me the best life possible. They've overcome a lot of things that I may never have to go through, even with the adversity that I've had to face. And they still maintain being great people, having good hearts, and always impacting other people in a positive way. I strive to do the same thing. And for me to do that at my best ability, I need to make sure my mind is right so I can help the next person. And if we don't do that for ourselves, not only can we not help ourselves, but we can't help the people around us. We can't be this aura that Derek so beautifully said, like you can feel what he feels like. like so mental health is the thing that comes to mind when I think about like the pressure and the danger of being manipulated by something like this, like a cult. And the fact that some people, until they saw this show, they didn't think that that exists. But all you gotta do is go look at Osho, look at what happened in Waco, Texas, Jim Jones, like, come on, don't drink the Kool-Aid. A lot of people are saying that phrase and didn't even know what it means. And right. those are thousands of people, thousands of people that, that lost their lives because he manipulated so much that they thought that that was the better choice. Imagine, do you think somebody with a healthy mindset is gonna allow that person to infiltrate their mind like that for such a negative purpose? How many people's families are hurting from that event? Because when you're gone, you're gone. The people around you that care for you, they're, they're hurt. There's a piece missing. There's a physical detachment that has to forcibly happen that they can never touch you, they can never feel you. They can never hug you. They can never say, I love you. If they regret that they got into an argument with you again, like it's, it, it's, it's a lot, man. I can't emphasize mental health enough. 
Yeah, you're definitely right about everything that you're saying, because I did recognize that, you know, a lot of manipulation plays in this, as well as drugs. And it was interesting to see drugs being used in this way. And hearing about your uh, background in hip hop, um, how do you feel about walking into this situation and seeing drugs being used in this way? Um, that has always been uh, a temptation that's existed. Um, growing up in the music industry, even, even being an athlete and a fighter and a martial artist, um, there was always coaches and trainers that they were like, man, you're so good. Imagine if you, and they try to talk me into doing steroids because they would promise me the career that would happen. They're like, you're so naturally talented and your work ethic, you'd be unstoppable um, in sports and in that, in the music industry, same thing. Like, you know, cool, you blaze, whatever, that's fine. But there was always stuff that was outside of that. I'd see people going to step and beyond and injecting themselves 